Mi hanno detto che a respirare si impara presto e così naturale Mi hanno detto che puoi respirare ogni secondo non ci devi pensare Oggi invece posso dirti che, che non è vero e sai perché Si respira dove l'aria c'è, dove l'aria c'è si respira dove l'aria c'è, dove l'aria c'è, dove l'aria c'è che si insinua, si respira. And welcome back to My Distracted Life. And the noise you can hear in the background is Reggie once again. Only this time he's playing with one of his toys. I can't get him to stop, so... Anyway, this week's video we are back at the cottage. Giovanni is up on the roof trying to demolish a little bit at a time. Seems a slow progress, but we're getting there bit by bit. I took a little chair from the, the cottage and I am... Um, refurbishing that e, and that's in the video as well thank you to my new subscriber e, it's fantastic to see just slowly slowly one by one but thank you so much so if you like the content or even if you don't and you know someone who does or who would please share like and subscribe see you in the rest of the video there's a little PS to this, and it is that we got our planning permission. Yay! I can't believe it, we actually got our planning permission, and so the process of finding a builder now begins. So stay tuned. Thank you. Dove veramente l'aria comincia se sparisce la gente, l'aria comincia dove il sole si arrende. E col suolone colora l'orizzonte Si respira dove l'aria c'è Dove l'aria c'è Si respira dove l'aria c'è Dove l'aria c'è Dove l'aria c'è che si insinua Si respira Now this is dry, I'm going to use this faux leather, just cut out the 
a stencil shape or a template. I'm going to use this full leather just for stabilising this and then I'll put my cushion on top and the new material on top. I'll also cut a, a piece for underneath just to make it look prettier and a piece to go along there and then I'll get the second coat on. This might look a bit wasteful material wise but I need the breadth. I need the length actually. And I'll mark the reverse side so I don't obviously mark the full leather. And I will also take it in there, but I'll leave a cut about half an inch wider than the marks. There's a mark there. So I'm going to cut about here. Just so I've got some wiggle room, tuck in room. Break down all the lights, let me hold you close. I'm for with you today rather than underneath because this is my last tin and I want that to look nice, obviously, because that's going to be facing the front. So this was for a client, or I was doing it for someone other than myself. I would probably use another tin and do it properly. But this would just be sitting out in the garden. So I'm not going to have an overspend.
This doesn't need to be pretty because it is just to be just here to give some extra bottom support. It doesn't need to be pretty. Just giving it a little bit of protection. Once the material is on that, it'll look a lot nicer. As a lot of you will know, I really can't sew. Um, I'm not terrific at it. I'm not very great at upholstery either. So I've got my little cheat pins. Not cheap, cheat. So I can just tack these in and they look legitimate. I had this all buffed up with cushions and oh, but it just doesn't look right. So I'm just gonna make it a flat seat. I'm not going to film this whole process because uh, all it is is sticking in tags. A couple of videos ago I planted these tumbling toms. Look how big they've got. But we do have a rogue here. A cuckoo in the nest. That doesn't look like a tumbling tom to me, that just looks like an ordinary tomato. But it's there now so it'll stay there. I'm going to hang these outside somewhere, try and find a place for them. And I'm going to plant up my cucumbers that have doubled in size since last week. Better get them in. Take that back to, um, bring me the hardware shop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those are right. <laughs>